ladies and gentlemen. You all saw and uh, Andrew was kidding about it. The gentleman seven came out and said, yeah, Bobby Wine was beaten very properly. That is a person that some people in East Africa call the father of the region. Maybe they are right. The father of impunity, the father of dictatorship, the father of lawlessness. That's General Seven. It will be noted that some of the torture is actually supervised by the Crown Prince of Uganda, General Seven's son, Mohozi Kanyuka. Many of you saw the prolific writer, Kakoenza Nkirevasaita, who is now living in exile in Europe. He mentioned it that he was tortured and cut and beaten under the supervision of General Mohozi Museveni's son. That's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. We can go on and on and on about the pain in Uganda, but Dr. BCJ guided and I agree with him that we are not here to lament. But now that we are here, and Kamaswaka talked about it, he got very inspired, very motivated that he sees all the leaders, well, not all of us, but at least those that are still, and underline the word still, starting with the people of Uganda, we are here. Now that we are here, we are one. Now that we are here, mm -hmm. what next? This is a question that many of our people want to ask Chichi Echi Dako, what next? For starters, we need to realize that we are being reduced slowly by slowly. Back when Dr. Aziza Meske was inspiring us to get into leadership, he opened our eyes and tasked us to open many eyes. We went ahead and opened millions of eyes. Maybe that's why the impunity went a lot higher. But now that we are here, and we know that millions of eyes are open back home and all over East Africa, what next? So much can be said, this conference alone cannot be enough. But at least if there's anything to get from this conference, let it flash a light where we are coming from, and that light will bounce back and show us where we're going. Because the further back you look is the further in front you will see.